Psalm 121, the most powerful prayer for every morning. Starting your day with Psalm 121 is like stepping into a shield of warmth and protection, a reminder that God is always by our side, ready to support us through anything the day may bring. Whatever lies ahead, God wants you to remember this. Your help comes from the Lord, the creator of heaven and earth. Join us as we lift up a powerful prayer, calling on God for divine protection and abundant blessings in Jesus' name. Stay until the end and open your heart to receive these blessings fully. Each morning brings a fresh start, like the ocean waves washing away yesterday's marks on the shore. Dawn isn't just a new day, it's a renewal, a chance to realign with God. Psalm 121 is a powerful part of this renewal. It reassures us that even when life feels heavy and overwhelming, God is there, vigilant and protective. It's as though God is saying, you're not alone. I'm right here with you. This psalm is often known as the Traveler's Psalm because it carries us through life's journey, reminding us that no matter where we go or what challenges arise, God is with us, watching over every step. Like travelers who face twists and turns, we too encounter unknowns. But this psalm offers hope, strength, and assurance of God's unwavering presence and care. Verse 1 opens with a powerful image. I will lift up my eyes to the hills. From where does my help come? Imagine standing before a vast mountain or looking up into an endless sky. This verse invites us to look beyond ourselves to the greatness of God. It poses a question that resonates during times of doubt. Where does my help come from? The answer follows with comforting clarity in verse 2. My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. This verse reminds us that our help comes from the one who created everything, the stars, the oceans, the earth. He is our ever-present help, not just watching from afar, but actively supporting us through every challenge. Psalm 121 doesn't just offer words, it offers peace and strength, an anchor reminding us of God's unshakable presence with us. So let me ask you, where does your help truly come from? Is it from your job, your income, your friends, or loved ones? Or is there a greater source? Let's explore the ultimate answer found in verse 2. My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. It's natural for us to feel pride in our achievements. We plan, we create, and we build, whether it's something simple like a meal or intricate like a piece of art. Our days are filled with schedules, goals, and activities. Yet this verse calls us to pause and think beyond ourselves. Consider the vastness of creation, the heavens, the earth, the stars sparkling in the night sky, the moon, the sun, and all the beauty around us, the landscapes, oceans, and life itself. All of this was crafted by the Lord. This is the great God we serve, the creator who breathes life into everything. In Exodus chapters 35 to 50, we read about the Israelites building the tabernacle in the wilderness. Each worker was filled with the Spirit of God, empowered to design and construct with skill and precision. Their abilities were not merely their own. They were gifts from the divine Creator. Our talents, wisdom, and even our ability to envision and plan are similarly gifts from God. This realization is both humbling and inspiring. If we take pride in our plans and accomplishments, how much greater is the one who created the universe itself? Acknowledging that our true help comes from the Creator shifts our trust from our limited strengths to God's boundless power and wisdom. This verse, simple yet profound, reminds us that no matter how great the obstacles we face, our Helper is infinitely greater. The God who created all things is bigger than any problem we may encounter. Let's reflect on verse 3. He will not let your foot be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. Every day we step into a world full of uncertainties, where life can sometimes feel like walking a tightrope, with obstacles ready to knock us off balance. Yet this verse holds a promise. God will not let us slip. He is our steady support, 
ensuring our steps are secure no matter how unstable things around us may feel. Think of Peter in the storm in Matthew 14 walking on water toward Jesus. As long as his gaze was fixed on the Lord, he was steady. But the moment he looked at the storm, he started to sink. Instantly, Jesus reached out and pulled him up, showing us that even when we falter, God's hand is there to catch us. It's a powerful reassurance that God's presence is unfailing. The latter part of verse 3 reminds us that God is tireless in his care. While we need rest, God's vigilance is unbroken. Imagine a guardian who never sleeps, never turns away, always watching over us. This is who God is, constantly protecting, fully aware, and actively present. Verse 4 continues, Behold, he who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. This verse expands the promise beyond personal protection showing that God's watchful care extends to all his people. Think of the Israelites in Exodus, trapped between the Red Sea and Pharaoh's advancing army. It seemed like an impossible situation, yet God, who never sleeps, opened a way through the sea for them to escape. His care wasn't just for a few leaders, but for the entire nation. This verse is a beautiful reminder that God's attentive care isn't limited to individuals, his protection is vast and enduring, covering communities, nations, and generations. His faithfulness knows no boundaries, ensuring his people are safe and secure. Verse 5 declares, The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. Mornings bring light and warmth, but with them can come intensity and challenges. Life, too, often presents us with moments of pressure and heat. Yet this verse promises us that God is like a protective shade, providing relief and comfort amid life's demands. Just as shade brings coolness on a scorching day, God is there to offer shelter and peace. The reference to the right hand is also deeply meaningful. In ancient times, the right hand symbolized strength, authority, and honor. For God to be at our right hand signifies more than just protection, it speaks to empowerment and support. Every effort we make, every difficulty we confront is met with God's strength reinforcing our own. With him at our side, we're reminded that we have a powerful ally and no challenge is too great. Verse six builds on this assurance. The sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. Every day we face highs and lows, like the glaring heat of the sun or the hidden uncertainties of the night. The sun can be intense, representing clear and immediate struggles that demand our attention, be it work pressures, family matters, or personal fears. The moon, while it lights the night, also symbolizes the unknown, the hidden concerns that surprise or confuse us. Consider the story of the Israelites wandering in the wilderness as told in Exodus 13, 21 to 22. By day, God led them with a cloud, offering guidance and cover, and by night, he led them with a pillar of fire, providing both light and security. This shows us that God's guidance and protection are constant, present during the open challenges of the day and the hidden uncertainties of the night. This verse assures us that whether we're facing problems head on or dealing with the unseen issues lurking in the background, God's presence remains our shield, our guide, and our steady refuge. Verse 7 promises, The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life. Imagine waking up each morning with a powerful shield around you, one that protects you from every potential harm, both visible and hidden. This verse speaks of that divine shield, a daily assurance that God is actively guarding us. Life is full of uncertainties, and while threats to our well-being exist, God's promise here is clear. He will keep us safe from it all. Consider the story of Job. In chapter 1, verse 10, Satan remarks on the hedge of protection that God had placed around Job, his family, and all he owned. Even when Job faced severe trials, God's protective hand remained evident. This verse isn't just about shielding us from physical harm. It goes deeper, assuring us that God guards our very soul, 
even through internal battles where it matters most, God promises to keep us secure. It's the ultimate reassurance that our lives, our essence are safeguarded as we step into each day's challenges. Verse 8, the Psalm's closing promise reads, The Lord will keep your going out and your coming in from this time forth and forevermore. Our lives are full of journeys. Sometimes we head out to face new challenges, embark on exciting ventures, or simply go about our daily routines. Other times we come home seeking rest, reconnection, and peace. This verse captures the beauty of God's unchanging care, regardless of where life takes us. It's like having a constant companion, a protective presence that walks with us as we step out and eagerly awaits us when we return. Think of Jacob in Genesis 28, 15, when he was fleeing his brother Esau and venturing into an unknown land. God told him, I am with you and will keep you wherever you go and will bring you back to this land. Even in foreign places, Jacob wasn't alone. God was with him, watching over his every step. This verse is our assurance that wherever we go, in all the journeys of life, we are never outside of God's care. Similarly, Psalm 121 assures us that God's care extends beyond today, beyond tomorrow. It is eternal. Whether we're stepping into a new dawn, embarking on an unknown adventure, or returning home after a long journey, His promise holds steady. Every step we take from now until the end of time rests within the watchful care of God. This assurance brings a deep comforting security, reminding us that in the unfolding story of our lives, God's protective hand is ever-present, always watching over us. As we navigate the highs and lows of life, we are never truly on our own. Psalm 121 reminds us that our steps are guided, our paths illuminated, and our lives surrounded by God's unwavering love and protection. Whether you're heading into a challenge or finding your way back after a journey, remember this. God's promise of care, protection, and guidance remains unbreakable. In the grand narrative of our lives, God's watchful presence remains steadfast, guarding each step we take. As you step into today, as you approach tomorrow, and every day after that, hold tight to the comfort of this psalm. In moments of doubt or fear, lift your eyes to the hills, to the heavens, and let this truth settle deeply in your heart. Your help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us come together in prayer, opening our hearts to the Lord. Join me as we seek his presence and embrace the blessings of this prayer. Let us go before our gracious, loving God. Heavenly Father, eternal King and creator of all, you are the King of kings, the Lord of lords, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Your greatness and faithfulness are limitless, and I am deeply grateful for your grace, mercy, and love. Lord, I thank you that your mercies are new each morning, a reminder of your boundless love. Today and every day, I stand upon the promises of Psalm 121 over my life. I declare that I will walk in strength and confidence, knowing that you guard each step and illuminate my path. You are my constant help in times of need, my keeper and shield. Thank you for watching over me day and night, for protecting my coming and going, and for delivering me from all harm. Thank you for being my shelter, for guarding me from both visible and hidden dangers. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke any challenge that arises, knowing that you, Lord, are greater than every obstacle. I proclaim victory over adversity, breakthrough in every trial, and blessings in the face of setbacks. I trust that you work all things for good for those who love and serve you. In the powerful name of Jesus, I reject any plan of the enemy that seeks to pull me away from your path. I rebuke every spirit of fear, doubt, anxiety, or confusion, for you have given me not a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. Father, I lift my loved ones to you, draw them closer to you that they may know your truth, love, and grace. Surround them with your mercy, guidance, and protection in all their journeys. As I pray this with everyone here, 
I thank you for each soul gathered. May each heart feel your loving presence. For those carrying heavy burdens, may they feel the weight lifted now. For those with troubled hearts and minds, may they find rest and peace in you. Holy Spirit, bring comfort to the hurting and healing to those who are unwell. Let our united faith release waves of blessing, peace, and transformation across lives near and far. Lord, I place my concerns, dreams, and hopes into your hands. May your will be done in my life. Thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering this prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. If this message has touched your heart, type amen in the comments below. I declare that every blessing from this prayer is now yours. In the powerful name of Jesus, may these words bring peace, strength, and favor to your life. Help us extend this blessing by sharing this video with friends or family who need encouragement today. Remember to subscribe to our channel for more uplifting messages and prayers to strengthen your spirit. We are so grateful for your support. You are truly blessed to be a blessing. If you have specific prayer requests, feel free to share them in the comments. We'll lift each request to God, standing with you in faith for your victory and breakthrough. We also welcome believers from around the world to join us in prayer. Even if you don't receive a direct reply, know that your requests are being lifted up before the Lord. Together we believe in the power of prayer to bring comfort, healing, and guidance, trusting in God's perfect plan. To God be all the glory. May his grace, peace, and abundant love be with each of you. Thank you, and God bless you.